Ducket. Here's a look back at the case. August 27, 2006, Leesburg, Florida. 21-year-old mother Melinda Duckett calls police with chilling news. Her two-year-old son Trenton has vanished. Melinda tells police she put him to bed at 6.30 p.m. and when she checked on him at 9 p.m., his bed was empty. Police investigate the scene, finding signs of a break-in. They immediately mobilize a massive search. Cops use dogs, ATVs, helicopters, and hundreds of volunteers to comb the surrounding area, but come up with nothing. As leads fail to materialize, police began increasing their scrutiny of Melinda Duckett's story. She's uncooperative with detectives, refusing to take a polygraph test, and her claim that she spent the day shopping with Trenton doesn't check out. By this time, the national media has taken notice of the case. Melinda appears on a cable news program and seems to have a near meltdown. She's evasive and unable to answer seemingly simple questions. Just one day after taping the interview, and less than two weeks after Trenton's disappearance, Melinda's grandparents come home to find their granddaughter's lifeless body slumped in their bedroom closet. She had taken her own life with a shotgun. In the week since Melinda Duckett's suicide, investigators have tried to piece together a timeline of her whereabouts prior to Trenton's disappearance. They weren't having much luck, but then cops announced a major break in the case. We know from this investigation that Melinda is a very creative person, a very well-planned out person. Therefore, we are prepared to say that little Trenton is a lie. Why do we say that? Because no one has proven to us otherwise. And with that, police now have a newfound sense of optimism. Marion County Sheriff's Office is looking for your help with a new lead. And joining us now from Boston is former assistant director in charge of the FBI in New York and president of the Gavin Group, Bill Gavin. Thanks for being with me tonight, Bill. Tell us uh, what new information the police are focusing on. Uh, Kimberly, what they're focusing on is, is uh, I think they, they're going back and looking at everything that they've done in the investigation so far. I would be looking again at her telephone logs. There's some discrepancy where witnesses say they last uh, saw her and where her telephone said she was, her cell phone. Um, they've got to look at this uh, uh, suicide. Was it a suicide or was it a murder that uh, looked like a suicide? I believe um, it, it sounds to me like she gave her child up, but uh, that's you know that's a that's a surmise on my part. But it, it doesn't sound good in terms of uh, uh, her knowledge. Obviously, she's lying. She didn't want to take any uh, polygraph test. Her friend um, uh, Chai Wen Chin uh, took a polygraph test and flunked it. Um, it, it just, it's such a bizarre set of circumstances. Uh, authorities, I believe, are going back through this whole case, looking at her credit cards, looking at her cell phones, looking at her computer, uh, and they, they have to do something. I don't know if she was a, uh, a abuser of drugs or alcohol. They have to do something with the, uh, with her friend, Mr. Chin, who, who flunked the polygraph. They're gonna have to look at everything that he's done. So I believe they're just regrouping and doing everything all over again. They got the FBI and, uh, and, um, FDLE, uh, looking for the uh, car that somebody allegedly saw up by the turnpike uh, shortly after the reported disappearance of Little Trenton. So this is just a horrible set of circumstances. But I think there's probably a good uh, chance that uh, Little Trenton's still alive. Okay, so there was a little bit of a mix-up concerning the vehicle. They gave an initial description, and now this is a clarification to help people find it. I guess the model uh, was wrong on the vehicle. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. They, first they said it was an Escalade, and then it turns out to be an EXT, you know, that uh, Cadillac. Uh, Cadillac pickup truck kind of uh, a vehicle. And uh, they have a, uh, what they think might be a New York license plate on it, but, you know, that's, uh, uh, that's probably difficult uh, to nail that one down, too. Her parents are from uh, New York, and, and uh, they said they don't know anybody that looks like the people that were described to have, uh, that they saw with uh, right. uh, her, it, it's just it's just very difficult. Well, the good news is it looks like there's real hope and chance that little Trenton could still be alive, so I hope they're narrowing in on him. People need to call in. All right, Bill, thanks for that update. I'm going to ask you to stay put. I'm going to move back to you in just a moment. And if you have any information in the case of Trenton Duckett, please call the number on your screen. Coming up.